Hey kids, this is Mr. Cozy, and uh, I wanted to record another video um, sh showing you me working through a few more problems where we st start out with, with a rational and we end up with a quadratic. Um, so I don't want to spend a ton of time on any particular problem, so I am going to go kind of quickly. Uh, fortunately, though, you have pause and rewind uh, control. So if I do something and you're 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 not sure why, you can uh, go back and see what I did. Okay. So I'm going to hit hit pause now and write our first problem on the board. Okay. So our first step is we need to factor all of these denominators because we we. We need to see what factors are, are present that we need to multiply into um, any fractions that that are missing them. Uh, for starters, um, this is already factored. It's it's just plain m n. It doesn't factor anymore. You remember, guys, when I talk when, when I talk about factoring, I'm talking about quadratic, second degree, um, maybe third degree if there's a GCF in the mix, okay? Uh, d ditto with, with n, n plus 1. There's no uh, nothing to factor here. Now uh, n squared plus n, I can factor out a GCF, uh, and I have n times n plus 1, okay? Now looking at my three denominators, and remember, guys, you have to think about multiplying. That this is the tool that you 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 have available. What can I multiply in to make these all the same? Um, this fraction has an n in it, just a plain n. This fraction does not, so it's going to need an n, top and bottom. Okay. This last fraction also already has n n n in it so I don't need to to do anything else with it okay so that's the n let's shift gears and look at n plus one um, so this has this is n plus one this also has n plus plus one con convenient this first fraction needs n plus one top and bottom Okay, so my my LCD is n times n plus one, and now that I I I have all of these fractions the same, I can fun functionally ignore the denominators and focus on the numerators. After I make a note to myself, when is n times n plus one equal to zero? Well, we have two. Two factors. We have this factor, and oops, back up here, and this factor. So that splits up into two mini problems. Either n e equals zero. Well, that's kin convenient. Or n plus one equals zero, which happens when n is negative one. So these are my two illegal numbers. N cannot be 0 or negative 1. Because n times n plus 1 is, is in the denominators of all of my fractions, um, I can't have 0 or neg negative 1 as an answer because that would put a, a 0 in the denominator. All right, so with that, with all, with that done, with all my deno denom denominators now all the same, I'm going to ignore them and focus on my numerators. Okay, I'm going to take a second, and, and this is, is a step that I wouldn't norm, norm normally do for myself, but for you, I'm just going to write out all of my numerators so that I can see what I need to do. So. I've got n plus 6, there is Isaac waking up a, a little bit, times n plus 1 uh, equals n times n minus 4 plus 3n squared minus 6n minus 72. All right, so um, on this left side, I have to do a FOIL. 
n squared. Uh, my inner and outer is going to be 7n plus 6 equals, um, dis distribute this n here, n squared minus 4n plus 3n squared minus 6n minus 72. All right. Give me a second. All right. Um, collecting like terms, I have a couple of n squares here. That's going to add up. Remember, guys, and this this is a classic mistake. This is a 1n squared. 1n n squared plus 3n squared is 4n squared minus 10n minus 72. On this side, I've got n squared plus 7n plus 6. So let's just go and subtract all of these to the other side. And I get 3n squared minus 17n minus 78 equals 0. Oof. So um, I need to factor. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give myself a little bit of, of room here to do, do a number game. I need factors of 3. Oh, Isaac, just a second. Okay, he is uh, doing a little better now. As it turns out, uh, newborns ain't got no chill. So, um, I need to factor this using a number game. <clears throat> I need factors of 3 and factors of negative 78 that when I add them up, give me... Ne that, that when I multiply across and add, add them up, give me negative 17. Uh, this is kind, kind of weird. So, to, to get, get me started... I'm going to pull out my calculator, and I'm going to get, uh, uh, let's just do 3 times 78. <clears throat> Shoot. 78. Rargh. Okay, 3 times 78 is 234. So I need factors of 234. Um, so that's 1 and 34 and 234. Those are too far apart. Um, 234, what's 234 div divided by 2? 117. 2 and 117. Um, how about 3? Uh, 234 divided by 3. That is 3 and 78. 3 and 78. Um, four isn't going to work because when I divide it with two, I get an odd number. So four won't work. Five won't work because this ends in a four. Um, because both two and three work, six will, will work. So let's do 234 divided by six. That's 39. Those are a little closer. Um, seven, I don't think will work, but I've been wrong before. Seven, no. Okay. Um, eight's not going to work. Um, nine will work. 234 divided by nine. Nine and 26. Okay. And um, that's, that's it. That's it. That's my pair. Those are 17 apart, okay? Specifically, negative 26 and positive 9. That's how I get negative 17. So that's going to really, 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 really help me um, because I know that my factors of 3, it's got to be 3n and 1n because 3 has to go into 9. And uh, over here, it's going to be uh, 3 and 26. Those are factors of set, set 78. So my factors are, and re remember, guys, when you do the number game, and you don't have to do the number game, you could, you could, you could also take these two numbers and do rewrite or the box method. Um, but if you do the number game, you, you go diagonally. My factors are n plus 3. And 3n minus 26. 
that equals zero. So n is negative three or n, let's solve this really quickly. 3n minus 26 equals zero. Add 26 to each side, divide each side by three. Um, n is 26 over three. That's a weird fraction. So we have two answers, negative three and 26 over three and neither one of them are zero or negative one, so we are good. That, those are my answers. Guys, there's gonna be a couple places where you might stumble here. One is getting an NLCD because it involves factoring, but you need to factor all of your denominators if they're quadratic. Um, you, 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 you need to get your factors to see what you need to multiply into the, the other fractions to get, to get them to be the same. Um, and then once you, you've done that and you're focusing on the numerators, actually churning through the algebra and factoring the quadratic at, at the end. And maybe it's an easy quadratic and maybe it's not. This, this one took a minute. Okay. Um, but guys, these are all skills that, that, that you have. We're just doing them together. Okay, let's, let's do one, uh, one, one more. Um, I'm going to pause, I'm going to pause this, go away keyboard. I'm going to pause this and put, get the problem up on the board. Okay. I have one over M squared minus eight M plus seven equals M over M squared minus eight M plus seven minus one. So. There's a couple of, of nice things in this problem. These two deno denominators are already the same. I should factor them just to see what the factors are, but I don't need to do anything else to get those two fractions to be the same. Uh, they, the factors, um, this is an, a one M squared. So I, I just, this is a, a diamond puzzle. I need factors of um, seven that add up to negative eight. That's gonna be negative one and negative seven. So my factors are m minus 1 and m minus 7 here too. Do not ignore this 1. This 1 cannot just roll into another fraction. This 1 is a fraction with a different denominator than the other 2. And you've got to rewrite it to have the same denominator as the other two, two fractions. Namely... This needs an m minus 1 in it and an m minus 7 in the top two. Now all of these fractions are the same. Now before I drop them, I'm sorry, before I ignore denominators and focus on the numerators, I should make a note to self, hey, m cannot be 1 or 7 because if m is 1, this is going to go to 0. And if M is if if M is seven, this is going to go to zero, and that can't happen because those are in the denominator. Okay, so with that dropped, let's focus on uh, my new numerators. I have one equals M minus. Now let's just uh, multiply out M minus one and M minus seven. Um, M squared minus eight M plus seven. I need to be be careful because this whole thing is being subtracted. So my first act as president of this problem is to distribute the negative. Okay. Um, and collect like terms. Negative m squared. I have a 1m and an 8m. That's a 9m minus seven. Um, let's subtract negative one to the other side. I get zero equals negative m squared plus nine m minus eight. And uh, I really need a positive m squared. Um, so I'm gonna multiply both, both, both sides of this e equation by negative one. Um, fortunately, the, the one side is, is zero, so nothing is, is going to change, but the right side is going to flip-flop. So we've got a positive m squared minus 9m plus 8. And this is a significantly easy, easier pro problem to factor. 
um, m minus 8, m minus 1 equals 0. So m is 8 and 1, except no, it's not, because m cannot be 1 because of that note up there. So m is not 1. m is just 8. Okay, this already went a lot longer than I intended. Um, hopefully this is helpful just seeing more problems. All of these problems have the same kind, kind of flow. You factor den, denom, denominators, you, you rewrite to get all the fractions to be the same. Um, you, you mark what x cannot be, and then you solve out the numerators, which usually end, works out to include a quadratic. Okay, um, I'm going to stop here uh, and let you guys get to work on the worksheet. Oh, shoot. See ya.